So guys, welcome back. Hello, Earth. Oh, guys, can you hear me? Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, guys. Hold on, guys. I can't hear you. All right, guys, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, hello? Yeah, good evening, teacher. All right, I think you can, yeah, yes, you can hear me. I think that I'm not able to hear you, but all right, let's see. All right, can you hear me now? Yeah, teacher. All right, very good. Yes, teacher. All right, it's just that I have, uh, I have you know, a lot of devices here. How are you guys? How's the day going so far? We're working. All good? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Hi. So, how was work then? I had to walk alone in the, in the place, in the industry, so it was tired. It was tiring? Tiring. Yeah. Tiring, okay. So, it was tiring. All right. Very good. What about you, Ruth? How was, how was work today? Good evening, guys. Uh, Hello, guys. Hey. Hey, what's up, Jim? How you doing? It was good? Yeah, it was relaxing. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So we're just going to wait for everybody to join in, guys. Okay. So are you really good at playing the guitar, Gio? Um, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I have my years playing. <laughs> like how, long, how long have you been playing for? Mm, let me see. I was 15 years and now I'm 40. Mm, like, wow. You were, hold on, you were 15. Yeah. You mean? Yeah, I were 15. You, okay. I was 15. I was, I was 15. I was. <laughs> All right. All yeah. right. Hey, dude, that's, that's okay. No, then, then you can play. I mean, you're, you're a professional. <laughs> 25 years. Are you kidding me? Huh? 25 years playing the guitar. Yeah, yeah. You, you're a professional, man. Don't say that. Oh. You're not good, okay? I can I can make my, my you know. garabatos. <laughs> yeah, you know, it same happen. I do play the guitar, but I'm, I'm in no way a professional, man. I'm like, I think it to become a, it probably would take me a really, really, really long time to, to keep practicing, you know? Yeah, but I don't play all the time, uh, you know, maybe. I had my my times, <clears throat> my time lapse of that I I didn't play. All right, you had your your time lapse. Okay, you had you had a you had a gap where you didn't play at all. Yeah, yeah. And how how long was that for? Uh, there was one time that I live, and I I were living with my aunt in the United States, the USA. And oh, okay. I I, I was there. Like a year, maybe. All right, all right, very good, very good, man. All right. Well, that's that's an interesting fact. Mm. All right. Anyways, uh, how many do we have here? Right, we got seven people. Uh, welcome, Rosa. Welcome, Carlos de Leon, Michelle, Hello. Alexander. Nice to see you here. How was your day today? Oh, the man was very good. All right. Was it good? Yeah. All right. All right. Very good. How about you, Carlos? How was your day? Well, um, it, it was really busy, you know, but it was good. Um, I'm, I'm happy right now because I had I, I couldn't I could make a lot of things to my in my work. This is my office day because uh, the rest of the week I spend the time in my house. So uh, I went to the office and I tried to do a lot of things with my boss and my partner so it was a good day all right all right very good man very good all right guys so we're gonna finish guys um i'm glad to see you here guys we're gonna finish talking about passive voice in different tenses today all right so what you have to know guys all right uh we're gonna continue where we left off yesterday uh i do have an exercise for you here 
So I am going to send this to your WhatsApp group, all right? Or you can just take a screenshot, okay? Anyway, so I'm gonna send this to the WhatsApp group, guys, and um, and let's start working on this, okay? So this is basically, guys, the the passive voice of present continuous, right? So uh, let's 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 do a warm up, guys. All right. So what would be the passive voice of the first one? She's reading a comic. A comic. It's reading. It's being read. Read. It's being read. It's being read. A comic is being read, right? By her. Read. Now you don't necessarily need to add. Remember that's that's optional, right? Because we don't know who we're talking about. If you're if you're using a pronoun, right? We don't really we don't really know what uh, who we're talking about. So you can say a comic is being read, and that would be a perfect answer, right? If you want to be specific about the person who is reading that comic, then you can come up with something okay. like, you know, a comic a comic was being read by okay. by you know, and the name, right? You you actually um, use the noun, okay? All right, very good, guys. So. Anyways, so let's go ahead, guys, and complete this one, and then we're going to talk about uh, present perfect, the passive voice of present perfect, okay? Did you, did somebody take a screenshot? Oh, should I take it here? Hold on. I, I took a screenshot, guys. I'm going to send it over to the WhatsApp group right now. Give me one second. Do you hear the dogs outside? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Is this? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? It's yours. It's, it's no, no, no. They're they're my neighbors. Uh, it's just that whenever they come home, you know, they like they have like a thousand dogs. So I don't know. They they start barking um all of a sudden. So, <laughs> so yeah. I'm sorry. All right? They 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 went quiet now. So we're good. <laughs> Not a problem. All right, guys. So there you go. All right, so uh, I'm gonna pair you up guys and let's complete that together, okay? Do we have any questions before we move on? Would you like to have another example before we move on? No, or are we no. good? No, no, we're good. Are, are we set? Okay, very good, okay. All right, let's move on then and uh, let me split up the groups right now. And there you go guys, enjoy. my screen so you can see the uh, questions right okay there is i watching your your screen and let me start but i think i have okay. Okay. all right guys if you want you can share you know one of you can share the screen so you can work on this together. Can see, see the screen. <laughs> okay. And the first one was the example, right? The comic is being read. Is being read. Let me write it. Like, uh, being is not being uh, made. Me. By him. Yeah. 
Let me check. Yeah. The passport is all the Let me check. Uh, number four. Yeah, my, we are okay. I would yeah. And number four, I, know, I am opening the presents. So the object yeah. is the presents. So we start the presents. Uh, it's a translate to to the passive voice. To the passive voice, okay. Uh, the number three. Yes, please. There's no making the. Uh, uh, the dinner. The dinner is not making. It's not making by my brother or, or not. Um, remember the structure. The soldier? In this exactly. case, the dinner. Exactly. That part then, is okay. And after and that, then, uh, uh, a bear to be. Exactly. It's, it's not me. being, it's not, it's not being. Make. It's not being made. Being make. Um, I think is made. Made. Uh, the past, past participle, yeah. Past participle. Made by my brother. Correct. Okay. Okay, let me try with the number four. I'm opening the present. Um, the present are being opened. Opened. Open. Are being opened. Okay. Um, uh, if you want to make do the number five, Ruth, please. Um, okay. The 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 sun is is being sink. A sun. A sun. A sun is being sink by Emma. Sun. Or what is the the past participle? Uh, sing. Is that a song? Sing. Okay. Song. A song is being sung. Yeah. By Emma. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Song song. <laughs> song song. Yeah. The the number six. Number six, please. The bag. Ax. The box. The box. Are are pack 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 the bag the bags are the bags. being are beer are being pack are being happy no is the bags the are, bags are be, bags. are being are being packed by him packed with key packed. at the end packed. Yes, by him. By him. Uh -huh. Yes, the seven says the girls are not playing hand. Are we open? I have to open. How are you doing, guys? Right. Okay. EAD. Uh -huh. Hey. How's everything? Right. We have project. Um, it's a little bit confusing. Um, can ahead, you use are being when it's plural? Can you what? I'm sorry. In, in the in this one in the fourth so the the present are being open. Are being open. All right. What about that? Can we use are? I don't know. Um, which one? All right, let me let me see. Right. Let me see. Which one? The number four. The number number four. four, I am opening the presents. I don't know if, if it's correct. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's Bang. correct that we are uh, open. the presents are being opened. Okay. So, so what makes sense to you? What do you think? 
uh, because they they are plural. <laughs> I think. That okay. Could be our being. So so okay. I, so you answer your question. You're good, right? Okay. Yeah, I mean. That's right. All right, I'll explain. I'll explain that. That's a that's a good one, right? Because uh, it might get you confused. Um, but okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, the presents are. Yes. The right. presents uh, are being opened. Opened, not opened. Opened. Open. Open. Opened. Okay. Very good. Okay. With the da sound. Okay. With the da sound at the end. And we have another da, and the Go number, ahead. the number three. My brother is not making dinner. The the dinner is not is not being made. Okay, dinner is not being made. Uh -huh, by, All right. No, it's not being. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can omit the. Okay. The brother, right? Yes, you can. So the dinner is not being made. Okay. Uh, you are right about that too. Okay. Man. <laughs> I think right. I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> no, you're good, man. I mean, whatever makes sense to you, all right? It's just, that's in any language, guys, you're, and that's a problem, you know, don't think about the structure yeah. so much, right? Just grab an example and follow the example, you know? That's, yeah, I, that's I, the best I tip. Think, I think that, that we only have to <coughs> make more practice. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, but, but but in in that way we we have the the that. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, but you're good, man. You're good. All okay. right, you answered okay. your own questions too. Okay, thank you. Do you have? Do we have any other questions? Mm, not so far. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the next couple here. Hey, Michelle, what happened to uh, Rosa? I think she got some problems with the Irene because we were talking and all of the sudden she's gone. Oh, she lost she lost connectivity. But we could we could finish all the exercises. Did you finish all the exercises? Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go back in a moment because not everybody's done. I'll get you together with somebody mm -hmm. else. Okay. Uh, for instance. Okay. All right. So I'll bring. Uh, yeah. All right, good job. Uh, I don't know what happened. All right, how are yes. we doing, guys? Hey, hello. Finished, right. You finished? Yeah. Yes. All right. All right, we're going to go back now. Okay, thank you. Hello, welcome back, guys. Nice to see you again. All right, guys, so let's go over the answers and then we can talk about the other two tenses that we're missing, okay? All right, how do you feel, guys? How do you, how do you, how do you think that you, you squared? Mm, it was interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, very good, very good, okay. All right, anyways, guys, uh, moving on. All right, uh, we, have, we still have to talk to cover, you know, the other, the other exercises. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at the answers. Okay. Let me share the screen again. All right. So what would be the answer for number one guys? Okay. Real quick. Okay. <clears throat> so we can move on. Uh, let's see, Gio, what do you have for number one? Uh, the number one was the sample. <laughs> the comment is being read. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm copying. <laughs> all right very good guys okay yes that that was the example okay yeah. so the comic book is being read yeah right? very good so the comic book is being read okay good job all right what do we have for number two guys who'd like to give me number two uh the kitchen is being clean clean okay the kitchen very good okay the kitchen which is the object right the yeah. kitchen is being, being being cleaned, okay. Clean. All right, very good. I right. um, Carlos, what do we have for number three? The dinner is not being made. The dinner is not being made. Good job, uh, Caesar. What do we have for number four? Uh, the presents are being opened by me. 
Or the presents, presents very good are being, are being opened open. by me okay or just the presents are being opened okay but yeah. good job uh this is good guys because it's, it's a question right Where's Mich the... michelle what do we have for number five i think it's it's a song being sung by emma is a song being sung um, uh, it's yeah. a song okay it's is a song being sung by Song is Emma. With, with an U or with an A? There are two vowel sounds, guys. The first one is song. song. It's an O, oh, just like the O oh that you know. O, 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 song. The other one is a schwa sound. It's it's the, the what we what I call the rapper sound when you go like, uh, 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 see? Oh. Uh, right? <laughs> that is sung, right? It's a song being sung. See? It's a song being sung, right? Oh. It's a song being sung, uh, sung by Emma. Okay, but uh, that's a good answer, guys. Okay, good job. Then we have uh, he's packing the bags. Okay, what do we have for he's packing the bags? Uh, let's see, Nelson. Okay, uh, number six: the bag, bags are being packed by him. Okay, bags are are being, being pronunciation, guys. Is packed. Being, Packed. Packed, okay, not packet, packed, okay, packed. by him. All right, very good. Uh, let's see, Me uh, no, Michelle, Ruth, what do we have for number seven, Ruth? Uh, the handball are not being played by girls. Okay, played by girls. Now, guys, there's something called we're not going to go over this topic, guys, but there's something called subject verb agreement, okay? You always have to, to, to follow the subject verb agreement. Whatever the subject is, you know, you have to follow the verb uh, from that subject, all right? So here, guys, the handball, which it's became the subject, is that, is that singular or is that singular, plural? Singular, singular, singular. Very good, right? So the... Police. So the answer should be the handball, right? The ham handball, handball, isn't, the handball isn't, isn't being isn't played by the girls, okay? All right, and this is the right answer, okay? Just a quick tip, guys, all right? Olivia is, Olivia is buying sandwiches, okay? So let's see, Jaime, what do we have for number eight? Uh, the, the sandwiches. Okay, sandwiches. actually it's sandwiches, guys, because we're not being specific about which sandwiches. Sandwiches, sandwiches. sandwiches. Mm -hmm. uh, are. Are, very good. Are, uh, are being. Being. Are being. Bow. But. Bow. Uh, by Olivia. By Olivia. Very good, man. Very good. Okay, good job. Uh, Rosa, what do we have for number nine? You're, you're muted, Rosa. Thank you. Now, yes. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, the shoppings are being, are being done. By the sh the shop why are we shopping. saying are why are we saying shopping. are shopping the shopping is is okay it's been done Be by the ladies done by the ladies good job guys all right and lastly alexander what do we have for number 10. sorry uh, teacher sorry it's, it's a it's a question oh this is a question right oh yeah yeah okay so how do we how do we do this then is the shopping. Okay, is the shopping being done, been done by, by the, the ladies. ladies? Okay, very good, guys. All right, I uh, okay, very good. All right, good. Uh, good job of spotting that, guys. Uh, Alexander, what do we have for number 10? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it says they are not writing S's. S's. Uh, all right, so what, what do we have for number 10 then? It says aren't being 
Seis. Essays, very good, are not being written, written, written by them, okay? Or simply, guys, essays are not being written, okay? Good job, written. guys. Okay. All right, very good, okay? All right, guys. Okay, so let's talk about present perfect, okay? So we know, guys, that the present perfect structure is this, right? And we use it, guys. We use present perfect for, you know, to talk about experience, okay? So whatever experience, you know, if you have traveled, see, if you have traveled uh, to Colombia, you know, if you have uh, gotten married, okay, all right, those, all of those are experiences, okay, so, and, 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 you know, present perfect is used by that, and also we use it for talking about a recent event, okay, in the past, a recent event that happened, that started in the past, all right, we're not going to go over, guys, the whole, you know, um, the whole gist of, um, why you know of, of uh, what present perfect is okay because the, the topic is not present perfect guys okay the topic is the passive voice of the present perfect okay so now you guys you guys are doing an amazing job so it is the same structure pretty much guys okay we're not it follows the same pattern okay not the same structure but the same pattern all right so let's take a look at the passive voice okay so let's um so again guys we use it for recently completed actions right so let's read, all right, let's see. Ruth, would you please be so kind to help me read example number one? He, he has completed the work. Okay, right? So now we know that that's an active voice, right? So what happens, guys? What happens when we turn it into a passive voice? All right, so again, guys, the same structure, all right? The only thing that's gonna change, guys, I mean, the, the same, the same pattern, okay, but the only thing that's going to change is the structure from um, from uh, present continuous versus present perfect now, right? Now, what is the thing that, that they use, guys? What, what is the thing that they have in common in, in passive voice? Has been or have been, okay? Write that down. This is, a, this is what they have in common, okay? Has been or have been, all right? So far, so good? Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Very good, guys. Very good, okay? So when I say guys, uh, all right, so when we have, we know that that uh, passive voice takes the protagonist, the, well, the protagonist of the passive voice becomes the subject of the sentence, right? And this is the object, okay? The object becomes the subject of the sentence, okay? So when we say he has completed the work, who is the, uh, I mean, what is the, the object of the sentence here? The work. Okay, yeah. work, right? Or the yeah. work, okay, very good, all right? The work, okay? The work. All right, very good. Michelle, uh, if I say he has not completed the work, this is the same thing, right? But he has not completed the work. What is the object of the sentence here? The work. All right, the work, right? Very good. Uh, when we ask a question, right? Gio, uh, has he completed the work? What is the, sub what is the, the object here? The work. <laughs> All right, the work is still this, the, the, the object, okay? Yeah. Very good. Nelson, uh, if I say she has written five poems. Five poems? Five, five poems. poems is this the object. It Very good. Okay. Object. And we know, guys, okay, we can infer, infer that uh, some cakes is the object of this other sentence, right? Now, let me ask you this. Compared to simple, I mean, to, to uh, present continuous, guys, does it follow the same pattern? Yes or not? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? Passive voice is all about what determines passive voice, guys, is the focus on the the object of the sentence, okay? Not the structure, guys. I mean, because you can use passive voice with, with any tense, okay? All right? But what determines what happens, guys, what determines what becomes, what makes it become a passive tense is, you know, the fact that we're going to focus on the object of the sentence, right? So if you notice here, guys, he has completed the work. The work has been completed by him. This one, guys, is actually easier than the present continuous. At least that's how I see it, you know? All right, if I say, let me, let's get some um, some other examples, guys, okay? Oh, there, there you go, all right. So if I say, guys, Anna has uh, traveled around the world. All 
All right. Now, can we, can we, is this, first of all, is this present perfect? Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. So let's, let's try to transform this. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Michelle. All right. Let's go with Michelle. Michelle. So how would you transform this into present perfect? Uh, present perfect uh, passive. Um, the thing, I don't think teacher the word is the object. Okay, very good. Okay, good notice. Okay, so what is the object? There is not an object. There isn't any object? What do you think, guys? It's okay. I mean, that this is the reason why I put this example up here, guys, because it's confusing, right? This, this is like one of those examples that might be confusing. But what is an object of the sentence, guys? According to the definition, you gave me the definition yesterday. So what is mm -hmm. the definition of the object of the sentence? Object is who, the, who received the action. Okay, okay, the, the one receiving the action, okay? Yeah. So what is the, the, you know, what is the, what is the noun, guys, that is receiving the action here? The world. The world, okay, right? Very good. Follow the same structure. The world has, has yeah. been traveled. Has been or has been? been. Has, oh, been. 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 has been. been. Has been. Very good, okay. Has been traveled by Anna, okay? Now here, guys, you do have to specify that this is Anna because the sentence, you know, is actually uh, saying who the the actor, you know, who the protagonist of this was, okay? All right, very good, Michelle, all right? Um, so yes, if you see guys, you can still use it, right? All right, let's see guys, let's let's play around. Um, Caesar, give me another sentence in present perfect. Uh, he has uh, played, no, he has played the guitar in different countries. He has played, okay, he has played the guitar in different, countries. in different countries, okay? So he's played the guitar in the in different countries. All right, so how do we transform this, guys? Let's follow, you know, let's follow the same pattern, right? What is the object of the sentence here? Carlos uh, de Leon? The object, um, the guitar. Okay. Okay, uh, the guitar, okay, or is it different countries? Different countries. The guitar. Okay. <laughs> the guitar. The guitar. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, the guitar, guys. Okay, right, yeah. very good. Okay, so the guitar. Different uh, countries, guys, is the, the compliment, okay? Yeah. The guitar has been played. played. Okay. In different has countries. been played, okay. The guitar has been played, played by him in different countries. Okay, the guitar, okay. Um, you can say by him if you know who you're referring to, but this is optional. Right? The guitar has been played in, in different, different countries. countries. Okay, countries. Very good, guys. Okay, you're getting in it. Very good. You're getting the hang of it. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. All right, let's uh, keep playing around. Jaime, give me another one. Do me a favor, guys. Everybody, I, I need everybody, guys, to create a, a, um, a sentence in present perfect and transform it into the passive voice of present perfect, okay, in the chat. So what we're doing right now, guys, okay, what you see that we're doing right now, this is exactly what you're gonna do in the chat right now, okay? All right, so everybody else, the person who, you know, uh, everybody who is not, you know, talking right now, I need you to send me the examples of present perfect and also the passive voice of present perfect. Sounds good? Yes, Did right, you good. Have Tell me, Michelle, tell me. Um, I knew that when we have prepositional phrases, they are not like oh. objects. Uh huh. So, what do you mean? Which which example, prepositional phrase here? Um, around the world is it not a prepositional phrase. Around the world is not a prepositional phrase. The prepositional phrase, guys, is uh, doesn't contain a noun. Uh -huh. All right. So the world is the noun here. Right around, yes, it is a preposition, 
but around the world is not a prepositional phrase, okay? And therefore, okay. And, and you're right about something, okay? You can use a prepositional, you know, a preposition as the, the object of the sentence. Around the world, if you notice, around the world is not the object. The object is? The world. The world, and the world is it? Is, is that a preposition or is that a noun? That's a noun. Very good, okay, so it is a noun, so it can be used as the object of the sentence. Very good, good job, Michelle. All right, did that answer your question? Yes. Very good, thank you. Thank you for asking that, okay? Very good. All right, uh, let's see, guys. So send me the examples, guys, okay? Send me the examples right now, okay? Um, hi, ma'am. Give me one sentence in present perfect. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, just a regular sentence, okay? In active voice. In Not present perfect. That the... the red ones are present perfect. The blue ones are passive voice, okay? I just want you to give me the ones in red. A one that yeah. you can create in red, okay? Uh, they has they have played played soccer. Okay, they they had played soccer. No, they 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 have. Okay, they have played soccer. Played soccer. All right, you can leave it here. All right, very good. They have played soccer. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, Ruth, how would you transform this into passive voice? Soccer is been has 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 been has been has been played played very good past participle right played all right this is not simple past guys this is past a past participle verb right soccer has been played. By, by them by them Beautiful. right very good okay Beautiful. soccer has been played by them all right good job guys good job okay all right i'm gonna take a look at your examples guys carlos says uh juana has cooked pupusas in china pupus has been pupusas has been cooked by in china right so i want you guys good job carlos everything was good the only thing that we need uh we, the only thing that we need to correct is this okay Pupusas has been cooked in China, guys. What's wrong here? Have uh, been. Well, what is it? On. Have uh, been. All right. Remember, guys, the subject verb agreement, right? Pupusas is a plural, right? Uh, so been. Yes. Have, right. have been, been cooked been. in China. Very good. All right. Thanks. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. Good job. Uh, let's keep reading. Gio, Tonia, Tonia <laughs> has yeah. cooked a lot of cookies. A lot of cookies have been made by Tonya. All right, have been cooked. I cooked. All right, yeah. very good. Uh, the teacher, Nelson, the teacher has bought a new car. A new car has been bought by the teacher. Good job, perfect, Nelson. Uh, Ruth says Santiago rode his bicycle. Ruth, that is that is simple past. All right, uh, present perfect okay. would be, you know, Santiago has ridden his bicycle, okay? Like this, Santiago has ridden his bicycle. All right. All right, very good. Uh, Michelle, I have submitted my homework. My homework has been submitted. Okay, good job, perfect. Uh, Ruth, the bicycle has been rolled by Santiago. Good job, Ruth. Okay, good job. All right, that's the passive voice. Good job, guys, and applause for you guys. You got it, okay, very good. All right, all right, Did do you have a question, guys? Did everybody on, on, understand here? Did you understand everything? We're good? Yeah. All right, very good, guys, very good, okay? All right, so let's have some practice, guys, okay? And now, just because of the time, guys, we're not gonna do this in couples, okay? Let's do it right here, but you guys are experts already, so, so let's do it right here, okay? All right, so let's see. Um, uh, Alexander, what do you think is the answer for number one? They have opened a, a new shop. Uh huh. Okay, a new shop. A new shop 
Um, do me a favor, guys. Everybody try to solve these in your notebooks, okay? So you have the, the answers ready. So number one, a new shop. Um, have open. Okay, a new shop have open, okay. All right, very good. Uh, let's see, Michelle, what do you think Sorry. the answer for this is? A new shop? Has been opened. Okay. Has, has been, been opened. Very good, okay. Open or opened? Opened. Okay, right. Very opened. good. Is, is opened, guys, the past participle of open? Yes. Opened. Opened. All right, very good. Uh, Rick has interviewed the lady. All right, let's see, Nelson, what do you think the answer for this is? Okay. The lady has been interviewed. Interviewed. Interviewed by, by Rick. By Rick, very good, man, very good. Okay, you got it. All right, uh, Caesar, what do we have for number three? I have uh, bought the tickets. The tickets had been bought by, by but, me. Okay, but, the, but the, the tickets have been have been bought, bought by me. Very good. Okay. Or you can say the ticket the, the tickets have been bought, right? When you're using a preposition, guys, not a preposition, guys, I'm sorry, a pronoun, you don't necessarily need to use the the preposition by again, right? But good job. All right, we have not sold the bike. Uh, what do you, what do you have for that, Jaime? Yeah, the, the bike, the, the bike, the bike, bike hasn't, hasn't, hasn't been, hasn't been, very good, hasn't, hasn't been sold, sold, very good, by, by us, by us, very good, man, all right, very good, okay, you're using, an object front and everything. Good job, man. All right. Uh, then, Gio, what do we have for number five? Sandwiches have been forgotten by Tim. Forgotten by Tim. <laughs> by Tim. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, sandwiches have been forgotten by Tim. Very good. Uh, Ruth, what do we have for number six? He has not cleaned um, the kitchen yet. Maybe in this case, in this case, why not use the sandwiches? In this case, <laughs> right? Let's pronounce it. In this case, in this case, uh huh. Why, why the sandwich? Why, why, you have only sandwiches, not putting the sandwiches. In general, it's because it's it's general. Okay, I mean here, guys, we're specifying the sandwiches, right? All right, but we're talking. If, remember, guys, if we're if we're talking about generality. You're, you're not going to use a preposition, right? Especially a definite preposition. I mean, not a preposition, guys, an, an article, okay? Not a definite article, all right? So um, so that's the reason why. It's because it's a gener it's, it's general, okay? Now, if you're able to see the sandwiches, you know, if you're referring to some sandwiches that you're able to see specifically, um, sandwiches that Tim might be cooking at the time that you're looking at them, then you do, you know, you can say that sandwiches have been forgotten by Tim, right? All right, so that's the reason. It's just the generality versus something specific, Jaime. If you wanted to place this as the sandwiches, it's correct too, all right? Uh, this can be, this right here, this thing right here, don't get confused, it can be inter interpreted as something general or something specific, okay? Okay. All right, very good. Uh, then number six, guys, uh, I think that was Ruth, I'm sorry. The, the kitchen has been not has them. Hasn't been, very good. Been. Been. Uh, That's participle. That's participle. Sorry, I uh, has clean. been cleaned. Clean. 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 Yeah. yeah, very good. Good job, Ruth. Good job. You got you got it, right? Uh Cesar, let's go, Cesar number seven. Uh Rugby has never uh, rugby, rugby, rugby rugby has never been played been by played. Joe 
and Jerry. By Joe and Jerry. All right. I think that would be Gary. Gary. Uh, because Jerry would be like with a J, right? That, that's more okay. like Gary. All right, but good job, man. Good job. All right. Alexander, what do we have for number eight, sir? Okay. Uh, Peter's car. Peter's car. Uh, has been stolen. Has been from stolen. Stolen somebody. By somebody. Very by, good, man. By somebody. All right. Good job. Great job, Alexander. All right. Rosa, number nine, Rosa. The tablet uh, hasn't been used. Hasn't been used. Used by her for the. By her. Okay. Very good. Good job. Uh, and number 10, guys, what do you have for number 10? Who would like to give me number 10? I'll leave this to anyone. Have the keys been found? Very good, okay. Keys. Question, right? Have the keys been uh, been found? Very good. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. You guys are pretty smart. All right, very good. All right, good job. All right, guys, do we have any question here? Easy peasy? Easy peasy? All right, very good. All right, guys, so now I want to show you guys that this is just, I'm not going to go over, guys, all the tenses. I just want to show you guys something here. You can always transform all tenses, guys, absolutely all tenses into passive voice, okay? All right. The only thing that changes, guys, is how do we call this, guys? Do... All right, I'm, um, did, was, have, had, will. These are? Auxiliaries. Auxiliaries, right? Yeah, that's the only thing, okay? So it's all about using the auxiliaries, okay? All right. Now let's jump into, you know, forming, uh, going to, well, talking about the future, guys, with, uh, with passive voice, okay? So let me just backtrack a little bit, guys, here. So let's talk about you know, uh, simple future, right? I will do my homework. Again, guys, what would be the object of the sentence here? What would be the, the object of the sentence in this sentence? I will do my homework. Homework. Okay, my homework, right? My homework. My homework. And Did then remember, we need to use the auxiliary, right? And what is the auxiliary that we use for simple future? Will. Will. Well, okay, my, my homework will be done right got it you can say my homework will be done by me but if i say my homework guys will be done i already that's kind of like redundant all right but see guys it's the same structure right yeah all right so object of the sentence plus auxiliary and uh here now are you gonna use the the verb be all the time yes yes okay will be needs to be used all the time right the same for going to guys I'm going to do my homework, okay? My homework is going to be, right? It's going to be, and that's how that works, okay? So you can take a look at, um, you know, a better structure here where we're, talking, where we're talking about going to. It's the same thing, right? The object comes first, then the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary, guys, of going to? It's going to, guys, okay? All right, it's going to, okay? So let's take a look at some examples. All right. So you can say, let's say, guys, I I'm going I'm going to oh to build a house. All right. Simple example, right? So follow the same structure, guys. Just I just want to you know what? Let me let me do this like this. Hold on. All right. I am, and then guys, I'm gonna separate the auxiliary here with a different color, right? I am going to, all right? And then we're gonna create another one in here, build a house, okay? All right, I'm going to build the house. All right, guys, so now, all right, now that we have this, okay, which is the auxiliary here? Which works as an auxiliary here? Going to. All right, going, going to. to, guys. Okay, going to, right? 
So this is the only thing that you have to remember, okay? This is the auxiliary, okay? All right, this is what we will base passive voice on, all right? Very good. So you will already know the object, guys, what the object of the sentence is. So who can tell me how to start passive voice here? Okay, a house. A house, very good, a house. It's going to be Going to be. All right, very going good. Okay, a house. Okay, all right, hold on. A house is going to be, okay? All right. And this is, guys, okay, here, guys, you're going to use the verb be. If, if we say houses, guys, if we said houses, what would be the, uh, the right? Are, 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 right going are going to be, right? But this going to be, guys, okay, is going to be is what we're always going to use, okay? All right. Uh, the only thing that we change here is the the verb is. The verb, the verb be, guys, okay? A house is going to be, and what yeah. is it? Built, yeah. okay. What is the past participle? Okay, D. like this, right? Built. Yeah. All right, it's gonna be built, yeah. built, built by me, okay. All right, very good, guys. Okay, good job. All right, so see, guys, it follows the same pattern, right? Uh, Carlos, give me another. You know what? I'm gonna create another. All right, let's talk. Okay, we cannot leave the class, guys, without talking about our favorite really subject fun. here, Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne is going to sing <laughs> tomorrow, okay? So Cheyenne is, not, is going to sing tomorrow, all right? So Carlos De Leon, how would you transform this into a passive voice? Okay. Um, I don't know, tomorrow? The object. <laughs> the object is... It's not object. Ah, okay, all right. Uh -huh. Okay, right. Well, what do you think, guys? It's a tricky question. Uh -huh. <laughs> same, same, same. All right. All right, guys, there is no object here. All right. I mean, the object, guys, if you consider this an object, guys, that will be tomorrow, but that's a time reference. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You can say, yeah. guys, you can say, you know, Cheyenne is going to sing a song tomorrow. What about this, guys? Song. Now, do we have Bob. a do we have a do, do we have an object? Yes. Song. Yes. Uh -huh. song. All right. Very good. So very good. Okay. Great. So now, how will you transform this? A song. A song. Is going to is be. Going to be a song. Okay. Now, all right. The pronunciation, guys. Uh, you you will have to 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 practice song. that song. Okay. A song. Mm. This is a song, like the the all that you know in Spanish, guys. A song, okay. A song is going to be, and the other one is the rap person, uh, right? Song, okay. A song is going to be sung, right? By Cheyenne. All right, and then you can add the compliment, right? Tomorrow. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. So far, so good, guys. Yeah. Good. Yes. Right. All right. We're gonna go back to the presentation. Okay. Now, do me a favor, guys. All right. Share your examples. Okay. All right. Whatever examples you might think of with, you know, going to. All right. I want to show you guys. All right. Uh, these are more examples, guys. All right. So, is anybody going to invite me? If we're talking about the same thing, right? If we're talking about questions, guys, is anybody going to invite me? All right. What is the object of the sentence here? Me. 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 Okay. It's very good. Okay. So therefore, am I going to be invited to uh, by anybody? Right. All right. Uh, the active voice here, guys. I am going to pay his debts. What is the, the object here? Debts. His debts. Debt. All right. His debt. debts, right? His debts. Okay. So his debts, right, become the subject of the sentence. The subject of the sentence. And then are going to be paid by me. All right. Um, and then afterwards, guys, we have the police are going to investigate the case, all right? So here, where is the object of the sentence? The case. case. The case, right? The case is going okay. to be investigated by the police, okay? All right, very good. Now, guys, let's see, guys. Are they going to feed the cats? Do me a favor. Everybody share your answer. Just from this exercise, guys, are they going to feed the cats? Please transform that into... Passive voice, okay? All right, I'll give you guys two minutes 
the most to transform that into passive voice, okay? In the chat or? Yeah, in the chat, please. All right. All right, let's start checking um, your answers, guys. So, very good. Michelle says, is the cat going to be fed? Very good. Are the cats going to be fed? All right, very good. All right, this is plural, but I'll accept that, Michelle, because you're referring to one cat, so that makes sense, okay? Uh, good job, Michelle. Cesar, good job. Carlos de Leon, are the cats going to be fed by them? Okay, very good. Okay, that's good, Carlos. All right, you added the object pronoun there. Nelson, are the cats going to be feed? Fed, fed, sorry. Okay, very good, the fed, right? Very good. Are the cats going to be fed by them? Good job, are the cats going to be fed by them? Fed, fed, fed. Good job, guys. Okay, you got it, guys. You got this, okay? Very good, guys. So um, so the only thing that we're missing here, guys, is will, but this is the same thing, okay? Will is the auxiliary, so it's the same thing that we've been practicing. This is actually not, guys, uh, if you notice, guys, in the platform, um, going to is the only one that we're referring to. However, guys, um, that, that, pretty much, that, that, that pretty much covers the topics um the ha half of the topics from this section okay do we have any questions here guys is this clear was this clear yeah, it's clear I all right it's clear. clear as tequila clear as uh <laughs> all right very good hey guys um do me a favor all right you can complete the platform at any point and i would actually love that uh just don't 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 skip class okay and the reason why i say that guys is because if you see if you skip class it's not up to me right but um if you skip class guys you are not able you're not eligible to continue in the course right uh the reason why guys is because this is pretty much a scholarship you know uh it's an investment on everybody and um so so you you know you, you need to attend the class if you really can you know if you really can guys uh i understand Try to connect, you know, if you're if you're working or something, you know, try to connect from your cell phone. Um, maybe perhaps, I mean, perhaps you're not gonna participate, participate. Um, but but you can, you know, be in the attendance, okay? Um, and also, like, let let me know, guys, beforehand, like like not just like one minute before, you know. I mean, let me know, like, beforehand. You know what? I'm I'm gonna have issues connecting today. I'm gonna be late, something like that. So I can, uh, so we can have that in mind, okay? Uh, other than that, guys, you guys are pretty responsible in everything else. I think that you you are doing a great job at understanding everything that we've we've you know we've thought so so far. I, I don't see any issues so far, guys. This is probably like I don't know, guys, if you practice this too too much, but you guys are pretty good at these topics. Okay, you get the hang of it pretty 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 uh, pretty quick, guys. So, anyways, that's all I wanted to mention, guys. Please do not miss class. Okay, uh, we only have. Yeah. And I and I and I really want to reinforce this, guys, because it happens, guys. The last week is the one with the least attendance because everybody finishes the plat the platform, you know. Um, but it's good if you want to learn English, you know, and if you want to go to the next module, you have to be part of the attendance. Okay. Sorry, is this the last week, teacher? No, no, no. Uh, the last the week will be one. the next this one. Week. Yeah, we still have um, we still have section number four, and we have the final exam as well. All right. Okay, great. So, um, so yeah, guys, um, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you. All right. Take care, guys. Yeah. Be safe. Bye. Be safe, guys. Thank you. See you tomorrow.